whenever there is calamity, we always remember Allah. Look at this person uh, talking, uh, you know, calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, the point I want to make here is this is when it actually started, the flood. This is when it actually started. Now I'm going to make some very important points today. And, and it's extremely important that you follow along with what I'm about to share with you because it's, it's not just about the floods or the grasshopper locusts that came to Arabia recently that there was a big viral thing about that. It's not about that. You see, it's actually much bigger than that. And this is what I'm going to share with you, okay? So you see this, what's happening? People remember Allah in difficulty. But why do we have to remember Allah in difficulty? You know, look at this. This, this flood took away cars. It took away camels. Right? It was quite an amazing scene. But I'm going to share with you something. By the end of this video, you will be like, oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, everybody is fearful when they see calamity of any sort. Whether it's, you know, it looks like there's an onslaught of insects or floods. And you're definitely going to learn something very interesting today, inshallah. If you just stick with me, inshallah, just for a few minutes, I'm not going to waste anyone's time. I'm going to make my points very, very quickly, inshallah. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. And you get the point, right? You get the point. All right. It is, it is just horrible. When calamity comes, we remember Allah. Look at this. Look at this car. So, the first thing I want to share with you, inshallah, is that uh, I'll come back to this in a second, actually. Uh, you know, floods in Arabia, we know that, right? And I'll just go over some clip, clips about that very quickly. Um, you'll, you'll also remember very much this person that had the insects and that became a big deal. Again, it looks like a calamity of some sort, right? And so because it looks like a calamity of some sort, then what happens? We, uh, we panic and we think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when there's difficulty. Now, I want you to consider this, right? The floods, 12 people killed. Uh, and there is just a little bit more before I get to the main point I want to make. Uh, you know, 300 people rescued, right? 12 killed. Floods in Saudi Arabia killed 12 and sparked nearby 300 rescues. Okay? Now, let's continue. You're going to find this very interesting. Again, 12 killed, right? And wreak havoc, right? Okay. Now, let's see. Now, what has been the history of floods in Saudi Arabia? This is the most recent one. Uh, let me actually make this a little bit better. Okay. And so you can follow along as I show you. You know, extreme cyclones in Arabian Sea, result of global warming and will increase frequency. Increase in frequency, okay? Uh, storm, storms over NASA views severe rainstorms over Western Saudi Arabia. This was 2017. And this cyclone was also 2017. Saudi Arabia, hundreds rescued as floods hit western areas, 2017. And again, 2017. And this is 2018. And it, in other words, there is a history of 2015, one dead after floods in Saudi Arabia, right? Every time we see natural disasters, we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Really, when it comes to the signs of the Day of Judgment, it's not only, it's not only about national or natural disasters, right? Um, let me sh share with you something. You know, Saudi Arabia is making the tallest building. Saudi Arabia is still building world's tallest tower, right? Uh, Saudi Arabia is still building world's tallest tower despite complications, okay? Uh, there are clean, clear signs the Prophet has given us. One of them is a tall building. Saudi Arabia is building the world's tallest tower. It's twice the
the size, okay, of of this Empire State Building. Uh, it's twice the size of anything before it, okay. It's twice the size of the Empire State Building. Those of you from the U.S. have probably been to the Empire State Building can only realize what that means. Now, when we see calamity, we remember Allah, and that's natural. But when we see sins, when we see what the Prophet said himself as the signs of Allah, it doesn't move us. We see sins around us every day. It doesn't move us, right? We see tall towers. You know, Umar bin Khattab had disallowed from building of bu building more than one level of buildings in his time, in his Khilafah. Okay, so let's look at some of the things that are happening in Arabia. I mean, Arabia is changing, right? And the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, say hadith, say authentic hadith. There will be fitnas in every single house in the Ara in, in, uh, amongst the Arabs. This is an authentic hadith. Saudi Arabia is still building world's tallest tower. Okay, that doesn't come to our mind, right? That maybe, you know, that's a sign of the Day of Judgment. That doesn't scare us. Look at, that's what they're trying to build. That's, that's Burj Khalifa, okay? Then that's, I think, the one in, one of these is in the one in, in Malaysia, okay? And then going back down all the way to the Empire State Building, okay? What else is happening in Saudi Arabia? Watch this. As soon as this comes up, you will see... Uh, in the Baltimore oh, area see. and you are tired of settling let's watch this uh, Saudi Arabia launched its first commercial Saudi Arabia launches its first what? movie theater and movie theater okay I'm just gonna leave it at that that doesn't scare us but floods will scare us tall buildings don't scare us but floods will scare us insects will scare us sins don't scare us Saudi Arabia is thinking of making what Island Saudi Arabia to turn 50 Red Sea islands into luxury tourism resort. Okay, so Saudi Arabia is going from one extreme of this kind of like really uh, hardcore, uh, you know, religious instead of having a balance from very hardcore to very very worldly lifestyle at a very very fast pace. This place. Uh, Manama in Bahrain, a weekend getaway for Saudis. You know how bad this is? This this doesn't scare us. See? This doesn't scare us. But this is really what should scare us. You know what happens is the Saudis, Bahrain allure for Saudis extent beyond alcohol. Okay? Every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saudis go to this city okay from the mam and other places nearby I've, I've lived in the mam for four years okay this tiny gulf nation is sick of its reputation as a seedy offshore las vegas meaning bahrain is sick of being the las vegas and a hot spot of sin for saudis okay and so they're complaining to the saudi government to do something about the youth that come there and create problems for them right Watch this. Okay, uh, Saudi Saudi men flout Muslim laws in bars of Bahrain. That doesn't scare us, but the floods will scare us. Okay, the uh, look at this. Look at this. Ninety-eight percent of cinema goers in Bahrain are from Saudi. Okay, that doesn't scare us. But the flood will scare us because we're naturally scared of floods. We're naturally scared of insects, right? But when you see sin, you should be more scared. You should be more scared than when you see tall buildings. That 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 is, when you see when you when you see tall buildings, you are seeing reality that the prophet told us that the hour is coming. When you see sin everywhere, that is the understanding that you're seeing sin and what it means. That is seeing reality. Now you're being khidr. You're not just seeing appearance, you're not just seeing a tall building, you're seeing reality. Right? What did the Prophet say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Okay? The Prophet said something very interesting. This is, by the way, in Sahih Bukha, Sahih Muslim, okay? In the chapter of Zakat. What did the Prophet say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? La taqoomus sa'ah. The hour will not come 
hatta yakthurul mal until the wealth is increased wa yafid wa yafid and 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 it is overflowing hatta until yakhruju rajulu bi zakati malihi a man will go out with his zakat his wealth fala yajid ahad he won't find anyone but how this is very important because this is something you can only understand in the modern times fala yajidu ahad yaqbaluha minhu who will accept it you know who will accept who will accept the wealth from him hand to hand he won't because when you're rich you only know the rich you don't even know the poor you can't even find the poor right you ask people like Donald Trump or these princesses in Saudi Arabia do you know any poor person do you happen to know any poor person right they don't know any poor person they have their secretaries who deal with their their you know they they have other people that deal with the people that are working for them right fala yajid ahad yaqbalu minhu they can't they'll find stuff on the internet but they can't find a person person to person fala yaqbalu minhu ahad and then another miracle hatta ta'ud al ard until the earth comes back to a state ardul arab the of the arabs marujan okay it becomes meadows wal anhar and rivers and so there is changing very very quickly in this regard i want to show with, show you something very interesting which will explain to you some of the things that are happening in arabia okay so uh the, this is the first one inshallah once i can show this to you arabia was once a lush paradise of grass and woodlands okay so this is bbc okay and then there was another report and and there's been a lot of studies how this affected things like evolution and stuff from their perspective and everything did you know uh did you know the arabian desert used to be a green jungle so this is what the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam sadiq al masduq who told us there would be tall buildings who told us that arabia would become green again now you see what nasa says this is nasa okay features green saudi green okay and what it is basically saying nasa sees nasa sees fields of green spring up in saudi arabia right Saudi Arabia is drilling for a resource possibly more precious than oil etc etc but Saudi Arabia is becoming green okay and Saudi Arabia in the process of this greenery will so these are the pictures I'm not going to go into it right now but these are the pictures okay that now that are on the NASA website regarding this uh so Saudi Arabia is planning resorts right on the Red Sea right where there will be no laws of islam people will come just like they come to any other beach any other resort 50 of them 50 over here so they're able to turn 50 red sea islands into luxury resorts okay and into not subject not subject to its laws you know its traditional islamic laws So Saudi Arabia is changing. Sin is taking over. So Saudi Arabia plans luxury beach resorts on Red Sea, okay? What is what does this tell us? Okay? There's another hadith I'd like to share with you. This is in Sahih Bukhari, okay? The Prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "You know how these Saudi brothers of ours they're going and having fun drinking alcohol doing this and doing that and living a life of luxury and sin sin you see sin you should see the day of judgment the prophet said sallallahu alaihi wasallam la yakunanna min ummati aqwamun indeed there will be a group of people of my ummah that will do what yes yes tahillun al hirra the you know hirra wal harir they will make halal for themselves silk wal khamar in alcohol wal muazif al muazir jaras al shaytan you know al muazir the the muazif the the instruments the musical instruments and then while these people are engaging in their silk and in their khamar in their alcohol and their musical and entertainments what's happening 
وينزلن ولا ينزلن أقوام إلى جنوب العالم. There will be a people on the side of the mountain who they don't have the money to be in that luxurious state. So they'll be poor. They'll do what? يريحوا عليهم بسحارة ب بسحارة بسحاريحة. They will be going around with their sheep. لهم for them for the rich people. يأتيهم they will come to these rich people. يعني فقير meaning the poor people. لحاجة فيقولوا with their hajjah, you know, can you give us something? We've been taking care of your sheep, right? They're making tall buildings. They're entertaining themselves. They leave Arabia, go to Bahrain and watch their movies and drink alcohol. فَيَقُولُونَ إِرْجِعْ إِلَيْنَا غَدَى Come to us tomorrow. We don't, we're not going to pay. You, you, you disassociate with the poor, don't even know what their feelings are. What does Allah say? Now, this, this, all that is hap happening, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَيُبَيِّتُونَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَدْعُوا عَلَمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy them and there will be mountains that will come down like landslides which the Prophet talks about in another hadith. وَيَمْسَحْ آخَرِينَ كِرْضَةً وَالْخَنَاظِيرِ To monkeys and pigs إِلَى يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Meaning they... There's another hadith that explains this. They'll wake up in the morning like donkey, like um, monkeys and pigs. That will be their spiritual state. They'll go there and they'll become that. You know, it just takes one day of doing wrong and you're, you're, just imagine what's happening, right? We become so interested in things like floods and insects and that's great. I mean, that's going to happen. If Saudi Arabia is becoming more green, then there's going to be more water. But I will say this. The Prophet ﷺ has taught us that water and rain that does not benefit is, is kind of like the blessings are out.